five of my daily video vlogs. It is March the 13th, 2015. It is 11.31 p.m. I spent uh, most of today at the church. And um, I was there about 8.30 p.m. And I did chapel, and we did Bible study, and then we planned for a kid's night out. And we did kid's night out until the last parent picked up their child at 10 p.m. And it takes about an hour to get home. So, here I am. So, uh, I can and I will focus on my desire to live the life that I've imagined. I can and I will stay close to this desire by reminding myself of it every day. No one can stop me but me, and nothing can stop me until tomorrow. And I only have to remember this for one day. So yesterday, you remember, I had a vlog about the Microsoft HoloLens and the Oculus Rift. And um, I did have one comment that I thought was very interesting, something I have not had not seen. Uh, well, too, somebody asked me if the noise in the background was my um, computer, and yes, if the heat's not on, uh, any of the background noise, like sounds like a fan, is from my computer. So I'm working on that. I'm looking into getting a better camera that has a mic input so that I can have it here. Or perhaps doing it in another location without my computer and just having notes that I can look off of. Um, so, so I do appreciate you asking, and, um, but yeah, it's the computer. Um, the best place for me to do the video is right here at my desk. It's the most clear area that I have to put a uh, camera, and so that's why I do it. Plus, I'm able to look stuff up on the internet while we're doing things, and that makes it easier for me. So, I had a uh, another um, person reply to my video. His name was, and, and you can look in the comments from yesterday. So it was Stuart, and I'm, I'm reading the screen. It's Stuart Gee, and he was talking about Magic Leap. And so I got to reading a lot about Magic Leap, and it does look really good. Uh, although I haven't been able to find a whole lot about it except for Google put in like over $500 million into it. There's been a lot of news about it, and there's this one video with this um, uh, hands where this elephant comes out of, or a child. So I'm going to link, right here is a link to the video. And it does look very, very impressive. Now I want to make, I want to know more about it before I make a real opinion, which at this point, um, I don't know, I've, I've tried searching the internet, and I don't have a lot of, um, like, with the Microsoft Hollow Glass, or with the Microsoft Hollow Lens, and the Oculus Rift, there's a lot of video, a lot of um, information out there that you can actually see on the screen. But with the Magic Leap, I haven't seen enough. Um, I really would like to get my hands, you know, I'm really into technology, so I would like to get my hands on these things, but they do cost a lot of money. So I would like to be a tester of these things, but it's coming up with the money to get the product, use it, have enough time to use it properly, and then report on it. So I probably, when the um, Microsoft HoloLens comes out, I probably at this point I'm going to try to save up. Um, of course, I don't know how much it's going to cost. Uh, I, I, I have a feeling it's going to be $500 or $400. If they put it too much above that, it will be out of the reach of most people. And um, what Microsoft is really into is, is a mass market appeal. I think they would rather have a product that is good for two or $300 than a product that is good and it costs everybody so much that, that not enough people can afford it. And um, so I guess we'll see on that. Um, so I'll let you know. Um, I want to get the Oculus Rift, and uh, but there are so many people that have done videos and unboxings that I think if I I had one, I would just kind of I don't know. I would just there's so many people out there. I would just kind of fall in the cracks. And I think there's just so much out there right now. You can just type in Oculus Rift in YouTube and get a thousand videos or more and people playing games people doing things so you know I want to um, to ask you a question and I know the answer and I'll reveal it on tomorrow tomorrow's video so uh, leave a comment uh, to this question uh, the uh, well I'll give you a little backup and then the question so 
they had about five years ago, they had all these scientists and all these inventors and people in um, business and, you know, inventors and all this. And they gave them a survey and they said, of everything that's been created um, from the 1800s on till I think it was 2005, what is one item? one thing that has affected the most people good or bad the one item and so they had you know everything from the internet to the PC to um, all kinds of things you know uh, the World Wide Web because the internet is uh, what most people use it is the World Wide Web with web pages but the internet is more than just that um, you know, automobiles, tire, fire, uh, fire wouldn't have been created in the 1800s, but um, you, you get the idea, and I'm not going to tell you, well, I may have mentioned it, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to try to give you a hint of what the number one voted thing is. So in tomorrow's video, I will read the top 10 or 20, if, if it sounds interesting, um, in this poll, what was the one thing that most affected the most people, good or bad, it has affected the most people in one way or another. So leave your comments down below. I really like to hear what you think about it. Uh, I don't usually get a whole lot of comments, but it would really be nice to see what you think about it. So just take a minute and just, uh, you know, if you think it was the mousetrap, uh, which it's not, but um, just put mousetrap, or if you think it was sticky notes, which it's not. Um, leave sticky notes um, so just leave that in the comment field well YouTube it I've had a long day and I'm really tired so I want to get this video up and I go to work tomorrow and be able to come home and do some study and take it easy for a couple hours tomorrow after work so YouTube go out and have a good day tomorrow and I'll talk to you tomorrow bye